strong like a lion. This is Boyd County High School Sports on GreenupBeacon2.com. This live video streaming webcast is an exclusive presentation by the Green Up Beacon and First and People's Bank and Trust. Boyd County Sports Action is also brought to you by Ohio University Southern, Our Lady of Belfont Hospital, Carmen Funeral Home, Stoltz Pharmacy, Meredith Chiropractic, Ashland Community and Technical College, and the Sungate Alpaca Company. Boyd County Sports, an exclusive presentation of the Green Up Beacon Media Group and its webcast team, Hank Bond, Keith Atkins, Brittany Hoback, Ryan Yearout, Evan Tice, and Kristen Keaton. Welcome everyone to the second game of the evening here from Boyd County Middle School. I'm Keith Atkins doing your play-by-play -play action. Kristen Keaton is our camera technician again for game two. We have the Boyd County Line basketball, Boyd County Line band on hand with us tonight as your Boyd County Lions gets ready to face off with the Royals of Rose Hill in 64th District Basketball Tournament action. We'll also be live on the air tomorrow night for the girls action again at 6 p.m. and then the boys again at 7.30 to determine who goes on to the championship action here. But you're watching 64th District Basketball tournament action here at Boyd County Middle School on the greenupbeacon2.com. We're about five and a half minutes away from the starting lineups. We'll step away and hear a few words from our sponsors. Subway's coming up first. Subway, always eat fresh. At Subway, now through March 31st, buy any regular salad for $5 each. Double meat excluded. This Subway value only available at super quick to own locations. Also, buy any three footlongs for $15 all day, any day. Subway. Eat fresh. Pharmacy is now offering patients compounding for their prescription needs. Stoltz Pharmacy is the only pharmacy in the area that is PCCA certified. We can provide you with hormone replacement, neuropathy creams, scar creams, pediatric prescriptions, and we can even help you with your veterinarian needs. If you have any questions, please call 606-834-1052. That's 834-1052. Stoltz Pharmacy in Greenup, Flatwoods, and Wheelersburg. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stoltz Pharmacy. Welcome back here to Boyd County Middle School. We're about four minutes away from starting lineups and tip off here on the greenbeacon2.com. I'm Keith Atkins as you're getting a look at the Boyd County Line varsity cheerleaders as the Boyd County Lions take on the Rose Hill Royals tonight in 64th District action. Four minutes to go till starting lineups. You're watching 64th District Basketball on the greenbeacon2.com. Choosing the right college is a big decision. Ohio University Southern offers more than 30 degree and certificate programs. Whether you're in Ohio or just across the river in Kentucky or West Virginia, our tuition is a best value in the area. Attend a world-class university and stay close to home with free parking. Ohio University Southern in Ironton and Proctorville. Imagine your possibilities. Enroll today. Visit ohio.edu southern or call 740-533-4600 company to experience the vibrant cultural heritage of South America and discover the extraordinary luxury fabric called alpaca. Wrap yourself in a stylish alpaca scarf, transform your living room by adding texture and color with a hand-loomed alpaca throw blanket, and add a little extra warmth and cozy fashion with an alpaca hat and matching gloves. Visit sungatealpaca.com for all your alpaca needs. Find us on Facebook for special deals and inventory updates. Shop Sungate Alpaca. Welcome back. There's a live look in on the Boyd County Varsity Band there as the Boyd County Lions make their way back onto the court. Two and a half minutes till 
Starting line out of time here. Both teams are now on the court, loosening up. We'll sit back and listen to the wonderful band of the Boyd County Lions here on Boyd County Basketball on the Green at Beacon 2.com. of the Royals and now over to a look at the lines as they continue to loosen up. 125 left for tip-off time. Starting line up high. You see guys take a shot. Great seniors on this Boyd County team. Wish them all the best in their future endeavors. Wish them the best of luck through this tournament and through the 16th regional tournament as Hank Bond and myself will travel to Moorhead and we'll cover each and every game of that. You can tune in if you can't make it to uh, Moorhead University. Be sure to turn, tune in to us. We'll be on greenupbeacon.com that night, those nights. So Hank Bond will be doing your play-by-play -play and I'll be doing your camera work for us that night and each night of the 16th region as well. Hank Bond tonight is in Lewis County covering the 63rd District Tournament. And here we go as we get ready to recognize some seniors. Travis Cade being honored as a senior tonight. Travis Cade, everybody senior for Rose Hill. Jake Daniel. Jake Daniel, ladies and gentlemen, two seniors from Rose Hill, outstanding young men, bright futures in front of them. Starting lineup of your Boyd County Varsity Lions. And now the starting lineup for your Boyd County Lions. Starting at guard, number four, Bobby Anderson. Starting at guard, number two, Reed Rousey. 
Starting at guard, number 10, Tanner Evans. Starting at forward, number 44. Pardon me, number Logan Thompson. And starting at center, number 55, Connor Goss. There's our starting lineups. We get ready for 64th District action here at Boyd County Middle School on the greenitbeacon2.com. Looks like our friends from WSAZ on hand taking a few shots down court. Tune in to your 11 o'clock news tonight to see your favorite Boyd County line or your favorite Rose Hill Royal on the local news channel. We thank them for coming out and giving these kids a coverage that they deserve. They work hard all season long. They deserve all the coverage they can get. Here we go. We're ready for action here. Boyd County takes on Rose Hill. And we're up. Controlled by Boyd County. Anderson kicks it over to Rousey. Rousey inside to Gauze. Gauze going to work. He's double teamed. Finds Evans. Back to Tobson on the wing. Tobson dumps inside to Gauze. Anderson for three. Nope. Off. Last touch by Rose Hill, Boyd County Basketball. Rose Hill would love to pick up a first victory of the season here as they come into the game at 0 and 20 to going on. Evans, he took steps in Rose Hill Basketball. Rose Hill coached by Jacob Wells. They last played uh, Greenup County and lost 37 to 82. Full court pressure from the lines. Here comes Rose Hill. Hamilton controlling the ball. He's double teamed. Evans trying to take it away and he's going to commit the foul. Boyd County coming into this game 20 and 6 overall. 14 and 2 in the region, 6 and 0 in the district. Their last game was an 81 to 37 win over South Point Pointers. Boyd out front to Hamilton. Hamilton being double teamed. Picked off by Rousey. Rousey's going to go coast to coast. Lays it up. Too strong. Rebound by Anderson under the basket. Looking for help. Evans gets him. Tosin for three. Yes, sir. Count it. Yep. Tosin went for a steal. Almost got it. Anderson picked that pass off. He's going to take it up. Lays it up and get in there. Boyd County out in front, quick 5-0. Smothering full court pressure from the lines. Tosin gets the steal. He drives it in, and he's going to draw that foul. Be a common foul, be Boyd County ball. Foul on Rose Hill's number 30, Joseph Hale. Joseph Hale committed the foul on Rose Hill. Tosin inside. Nope, no good. Rebound on the floor. Anderson picked it up. Rousey. To Evans. Evans looking inside. Nothing going. He's going to reset. Anderson runs cross court. Gets it on the wing. Back inside to Rousey. Rousey will drive. Finds Tosin on the drive. He'll put it up. Oh, it's Gauze on the drive. Tosin out front. Anderson resets. Rousey for a long three. Yes, sir. Three point. Come the Royals now trying to break the pressure. He get across the timeline. Ball knocked out of bound by Boyd County. Rose Hill ball. Hamilton the inbounds. Got a sub coming in. Trying to see the number there. Looks like the priest. For the Royals. Hale for three. Count it. Eight to three, Boyd County on top. Three point basket, Joseph Hale. Coach Wells yelling out instruction to his Royals. Trying to keep them close here early. Evans on the wing, looking inside, finds Gauz. Gauz will turn, going to battle his way up, and he is called for the travel. Rose Hill basketball. County still showing the full court pressure. Oh, 
On court downhill, Rose Hill almost lost it on the floor, picked up by Goss. Goss kicks it way out front to Anderson. Can he run it down? Yes, he saves it, throws it in. But taken away by Rose Hill. Out, throw it away again. Goss got it that time for Boyd County. Here comes Anderson. Anderson to Tosin for three in the corner. Nope. Rebound by Anderson. Puts it up. Good. Got the touch in. Good pressure by the lines. Boy County breaks and gets across. Almost picked off by Tosin. Rose Hill trying to get inside. Go inside and land of the Giants there. Kick out to Rousey. Rousey pulls up. 15 footer. Nope. No good. Rebound Rose Hill. And he hands it right off to Boy County. And they throw it away. Rose Hill basketball. Priest the inbounds for Rose Hill. Good pressure from Boyd County. Almost a five. Got it in. Boyd got it. He lost it. Picked up. Boyd County and there's Rousey. Puts it up and good. Priest long pass. Intercepted by Evans. Evans finds Rousey. Rousey looks out to the corner for Anderson. He'll shoot three. Yep. Got it. We're going to have a timeout on the floor. You're watching Boyd County Basketball in the 64th District Basketball Tournament on GreenitBeacon2.com. Visit the Sungate Alpaca Company to experience the vibrant cultural heritage of South America and discover the extraordinary luxury fabric called alpaca. Wrap yourself in a stylish alpaca scarf, transform your living room by adding texture and color with a hand-loomed alpaca throw blanket, and add a little extra warmth and cozy fashion with an alpaca hat and matching gloves. Visit SungateAlpaca.com for all your alpaca needs. Find us on Facebook for special deals and inventory updates. Shop Sungate Alpaca. Welcome back to first quarter action here. Boyd County showing all kinds of pressure. Out of bounds, last touch by Boyd County. Boyd County just smothering full court pressure here. Rose Hill, not still trying to figure out how to handle that. Try to get it in. Almost taken away. Rose Hill got it. The priest about took out the uh, radio announce table down there. Long shot by Rose Hill, no good. Anderson three bound. He's running it. Takes the floor, puts it up, and good. Nice play. Here comes Rose Hill now, trying to break this pressure of Boy County. Gauze picks that one off, lays it up. No, too strong. Knocked out of bounds by Tanner Evans. B. Rose Hill basketball. They knocked the middle announce table there. Uh, WLGC. Dickie Tiller didn't even flinch an eye down there. Never moved. He knew they wasn't going to get close to him. I'm setting up above them all, safe from all that. Here comes Rose Hill. DePriest breaks the pressure. He's going to take it all the way. He's got to face Gauze. He gets it up and over him. Basket's good. The priest. 17 to 5 now. 345 is to play in the first. Rose Hill doing all he can just to stay within striking distance here. I don't want to let Boyd kind of get too far out. Anderson will take a three. Rose off. Rebound is Rose Hill. Hamilton reaches out and finds Cade. Cade fakes, puts it up and good. Got guys to come off his feet. Here comes Tosin, strong to the goal. Put it up. Yes, count it. And goals a foul. Tosin went hard and strong to the goal that time. Good determination by this big senior down there. Talk to Tosin on Twitter there, trying to decide where he wants to go to college at. I'm sure wherever he goes will be lucky to have him. Priest for Rose Hill. Rose Hill turnover stepped out of bounds there. Looks like we're going to have Priest come in for Boyd County. Thirteen 
Rose Hill trying to work around. They're going to throw it away. Twenty sevens are scored. Three minutes to play in the first. Boyd County with the 13-point lead. Smith running the point now. Rousey from the corner. Three-pointer good. Priest picks the pass off. He'll pull up, shoot a little short jump shot. Too strong, no good. Ball's on the floor. Rose Hill battling for it. Gonna call Reed Rousey for that foul. They was scrapping for it on the ground there. Marcus Boyd checks into the game for Rose Hill. Boyd County almost picked it off. Loose ball. Ball stays with Rose Hill. Priest will inbounds. Loose ball, Rousey. Rose Hill just making some bad passes there. Rousey, nope, no good. Evans rebound. He's back out front, Smith. Rousey looked at that, gets it inside to Priest. Priest was blocked. Ball on the floor. Like Hale took a hard shot to the bridge of the nose there. He's on the floor. Slow to get up. Evans get called for that foul. Hale's up. I believe he's going to take a rest after taking that shot. Daniel will check back into him for him, give him a break. Let him rub his nose there a bit. his nose and took a beating on the body going down. I believe a, some knee, knee and elbow contact. He'll be all right. Boyd handling the ball here for Rose Hill. Gets it over to Hamilton. Hamilton trying to drive. He keeps fighting. There's a good move, puts it up. Gets a good roll and makes the basket. 23 to nine now. Minute 52 left to play in the first. Here come the Lions. Anderson at the Helm calling the plays. Smith, long three from the wing. Nope, too strong. Kinzer gets a rebound, puts it up. Nope, no good. On the floor, here comes Cade for Rose Hill. Picked off by Anderson. Here comes the Lions. Kicks over to Smith, up for the layup. Count that one. Passing by Smith. 25 to nine now, Lions strong on top. The Priest for three. Too strong, rose off. Rebound by Daniel, he's tied up. They're going to call a foul. That'll be Rousey's second. Dameron checks in for Boyd County now. Coach Anderson giving the big guys a little breather. Nice play by DePriest. He inbounds it off the back of Priest. And he couldn't get the ball to go in off the back of the backboard. Boyd County basketball moving left to right here in 64th District Tournament Action at Boyd County Middle School. Keith Atkins along with Kristen Keaton tonight. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back on the air again tomorrow night, 6 p.m. First game will be girls action. Got a foul on the court. I'm not sure who they called it on there. Hunter Kinzer. Boyd over to the priest. Back out front to Boyd. Double teamed. He gets it off. Almost taken away by Boyd County. Hamilton. Is it up? No good. Rebound, Boy County. Smith with the rebound. Kinzer with the rebound. Dumps it off to Smith. Smith finds Dameron on the corner. Puts it up. Three. 28 to 9. 30 seconds left to play in the first period. 
Rose Hill driving in. Cade puts it up. No good. Rebound Boyd County. Cameron dumps off to Priest. Priest Rose puts it up. Rose in there. Thirty nine. Here comes Rose Hill trying to get one last shot off. Puts it up. Hamilton, no good. Boyd puts it up at the buzzer, no good. So at the end of one, 30 to nine, Boyd County over Rose Hill. And you're watching 64th District Tournament Action on the Green at Beacon 2.com. At Meredith Chiropractic, you will enjoy state-of-the-art chiropractic facilities and discover the true wellness lifestyle. Dr. Terry Meredith is a member of Great Doctors of Chiropractic and has helped many in the Ashland area experience natural healing without surgery or drugs. If you're looking for a skilled chiropractic doctor, visit MeredithChiropractic.com, call 329-8158, or visit Dr. Meredith's office at 2120 Carter Avenue in Ashland. At First and People's Bank has six convenient locations to serve you. From South Shore to the main office, First and People's Bank has been serving this area with complete banking services since 1932. Visit the home office near you, First and People's Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. We are the home office. Come visit any of our six locations. Welcome back to the second period here at Boyd County Middle School, 64th District. Basketball tournament action here at the Boyd County Middle School. As Boyd County Lions are hosting the Rose Hill Royals. Boyd County with a big lead out now, 30 to nine at the end of one. It'll be Rose Hill basketball going right to left on your screen. Boyd being double teamed, they gotta get across the timeline. Almost taken away by Tosin there. Rose Hill called for stepping on the line. Beat Boy County basketball. Good defense by Tosin. Boy County got their starting lineup back in. Anderson controlling the ball. Up the key. Finds Rousey. Try to get inside of Tosin. Tosin couldn't handle it. Rose Hill picks it up. Hey, Rose Hill loses it to Evans. Evans is going to take it all the way. Laid up too strong. Knocked out of bounds by... Rousey will be Rose Hill basketball. Ethan Hamilton into the game for Rose Hill, getting a little playing time in. Very young athlete. Shots up, no good. Ball's on the floor. Still fighting for it. Goss finally controls it there. Kicks it off to Evans. Evans quick over to Rousey. Rousey take it up. No good on the layup. Evans tried to pick Boyd off from behind there and committed a foul. That's Tanner's third foul of the game, so he'll sit down and Taylor Smith will come in. Priest comes back in for Rose Hill. Boyd on the line. First shot's up and good. Boyd in the run for one of the bonus. Marcus Boyd. Uh, Ball handler for Rose Hill. Good looking ball player. Second one's up, no good. Rebound by Gauze. He finds his point guard and here comes Anderson in the lines. Anderson pulls up. Plays being run. Finds Rousey in the corner. He dumps inside to Gauze. Gauze fights his way. He gets called for traveling. He was trying to do a head fake there and was bouncing up and down and moved his feet. Full court pressure from the Lions. They're not going to give anything for free here tonight. Rose Hill's got to find a way to break this pressure here. There they found it. Gets it down long court to Boyd. Boyd fakes, puts it up. He's blocked by Gauze. Gauze pulls down the block, finds Tosin. Tosin looking for Smith. Smith lays it up and good. Smith. Assist. Tosin. 
Hamilton to get that assist. Long pass down court to Hamilton. Goss was down there to cover him. Goss will get committed, get called for the blocking foul. That'll be Logan's first of the game. That'll send Hamilton to the line for Rose Hill. Shoot the one on one. First one's up, no good. Goss pulls that one down, kicks it over to Anderson. Lions make their way back down the court. Here comes Anderson to set it up. 32 to 10, 6.05 left to play in the half. Rousey for a long three. No, sir, too strong. Rebound by Boyd of Rose Hill. Being covered by Rousey. Cross court, almost picked off by Tosin. DePriest got it. Back over to Boyd. In the corner to Hell. Hell find Boyd. Boyd to pull up for the shot. Good. Nice shot. Tosin inside to Gauze. Gauze will work. He's double teamed. Ball knocked out of bounds and stay with the lines. Inside the Gauze. Gauze work. He's going to draw a foul. Foul goes against Jacob Daniel. Giles will shoot two. Be sure to join us Tuesday night, tomorrow night, 6 p.m., girls action, 7.30, boys action. And Thursday night, we'll have the girls championship. And Friday night, we'll have the boys championship of the 64th district. Giles, the second shot's up. In and out. Rebound, Rose Hill. Hamilton pulled that one down. Hamilton's going to bring it across himself. Finds the priest. We come around. Knocked away. Tosin grabs it. Picks it up. Keeps it in bounds. Founds, founds Rousey to Smith. And the layup's no good. Tied up. Jump ball. Possession arrow will remain with Boyd County. Anderson inbounds as he sets up his offense. Finds Rousey three. Nope, too strong. Rebound on the floor. Hamilton and Rose Hill picks it up. Cade out front with it. Cade being guarded by Anderson. Tried to work it inside. It was kicked by Rousey, so it'd be Rose Hill basketball. Priest inbounds, 33-12, 4.53 to play in the half. Hamilton, Cade, cross court to Boyd. Boyd inside to Daniel, and the Priest will take the three. Nope, no good. Rebound by Gauze. Being double teamed, he holds it up high. He gets it over to his point guard, Anderson. Anderson kicks it down the corner to Smith. Back to Anderson for three. Yes, sir. Three. Nice shot by Mr. Bobby Anderson there. Reed Rousey picks one off. He finds Goss. Goss will find Anderson. He'll shoot three again. Two in a row. Three point Bobby Anderson. Rose Hill into Hamilton. Hamilton across court to Priest. Priest finds Hamilton underneath. Wide open. He'll put it up and in. Boy kind of got, got sleeping a little bit on the full court pressure there. Rose Hill took advantage of him. Nonetheless, here come the Lions again. Tosin for three. Yes, sir. Three Just like the video that's on YouTube that I made. Raining threes in Boyd County tonight. There's Smith for the little layup. Count at. The priest trying to break the pressure. He's stripped away by Tosin. Tosin going strong to the hoop. Up and no, too strong. Anderson trying to tip it in. Nope, on the floor. Tosin picks it up. Finds Gauze. Goss finds Anderson. Rousey back inside the Goss. He'll fight his way up and draw foul. That'll send Goss to the line. It's the priest's second foul of the evening. Goss misses his first shot. Checking into the ball game for Rose Hill, number 
Choosing the right college is a big decision. Ohio University Southern offers more than 30 degree and certificate programs. Whether you're in Ohio or just across the river in Kentucky or West Virginia, our tuition is a best value in the area. Attend a world-class university and stay close to home with free parking. Ohio University Southern in Ironton and Proctorville. Imagine your possibilities. Enroll today. Visit ohio.edu southern or call 740-533-4600. Choosing the and welcome back to 64th District Basketball Action, Boyd County Basketball. 44-14 is our score here. As Gauze is at the line for Boyd County. 321 left to play in the first half. Guys the shots up and good. 45-14. Boyd County drops back now. No full court pressure. Picked up at the half court line. Boyd. Dribbles in. Nope. Finds Hamilton. Boyd back out front. Takes a shot. Nope. Front of the rim. Ethan Hamilton gets that rebound. Boyd trying to break the pressure of Dameron. Finds Cade. Hale, I'm sorry. Finds Hale. Hale was picked off, and here comes Boyd County. Smith for the layup. Count that one. Boyd being double teamed, he puts it over. Hamilton in the corner. Knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Rose Hill. Hamilton inbounds. Hale. Hale will take a long three. Short off the front of the rim. Priest grabs the rebound. Dameron in control. He finds Smith. Smith's going to run the offense now. Dameron. In the wing. Smith in the corner for the three. Nope, too strong. Guys tries to run it down, couldn't do it. Rose Hill ball on the floor. It'll be Rose Hill basketball. Ethan Hamilton the inbounds to Hale. He'll walk the ball down the court for the Royals. Two minutes to play in the first half, 47-14. Boyd County on top. Ball thrown inside, picked off by Priest. Priest tries to kick it over. Smith controls. Gauze inside. Fights his way for the easy two. Being over and back call against the Royals. Boy County basketball. Priest comes back into the game as Ethan Hamilton will have a seat. Comes Smith of Boyd County. Smith finds Dameron. Dameron shoots the three. No, too strong. Rebound Boyd County. Puts it back up and good. That was Mullen on the basket. We'll have a foul against Smith there, bumping foul at midcourt. It'll be his first of the night. But that'll send Rose Hill to the free throw line. Hale will shoot one one. one. Shots up and good. Checking the ball game for Boyd County, number 33, Alex Gauze. Number 
Number 33, Alex Goss checks in for the Lions. Second shot's up and good. 106 left to play in the first half. 51-16, Boyd County on top. Full court pressure now from Rose Hill. As Dameron brings it across, breaks it no problem. He finds Kinzer underneath. The shot was no good. Rose Hill controls Boyd. Being out of control there, he gets it off to Hamilton. Finds the Priest. Reset, 45 seconds to shoot. Hamilton takes it in, lays it up high off the backboard, no good. Blocked by Priest. Balls on the floor. Got a whistle and a tie up. Ball will stay with Rose Hill. 34.3 seconds play in the first half. Ball into Hamilton. He lays it up. No good. Rebound pulled down by Priest. Here come the Lions. Priest looks off to Mullen. Mullen takes it all the way. Floater up and good. Down inside to Boyd. Looking nothing there to Priest. Back outside to Hale. Hale will reset the offense. Picked up his dribble. He found Boyd. And that's the end of the first half. So at the end of the first half here at the Boyd County Middle School in 64th District play, you're at Boyd County Line 53 in the Rose Hill Royals 16. You're watching 64th District Tournament Action here on the greenandbeacon2.com as we get a peek in there at the Boyd County Line Band. So thank you for joining us. We'll be back in just a minute. At Subway, now through March 31st, Buy any regular salad for $5 each, double meat excluded. This Subway value only available at super quick owned locations. Also, buy any three footlongs for $15 all day, any day. Subway, eat fresh. Go to Ashland Community and Technical College. Because it's so close. I go for the small class sizes. I go because I can transfer my credits. I go because I can take classes when it works for me. I go to get a better job. I go for some of Kentucky's most affordable tuition. I go because it's crazy not to. For all the right reasons, Ashland Community and Technical College. Higher education begins here.
back as we get ready to start the second half action here at the Boyd County Middle School 64th District Tournament Action. Boyd County taking on the Royals of Rose Hill. Boyd County with a commanding 53 to 16 lead. So we get ready to get underway here. It'll be Boyd County basketball now moving right to left on your screen. I'm Keith Atkins along with Kristen Keaton, my camera technician. We'll be back on the air tomorrow night. At about 10 to 6 for ladies action is the Boyd County Lady Lions will take on the Lady Fairview Eagles. And then 20 minutes following that game, we'll have the Ashland Tomcats taking on the Fairview Eagles. Rousey takes a three and hits it as he goes to the floor. Rousey putting the pressure on, just about took it away. Rose Hill controls. Inside, picked off by Tosin. Tosin looking down. He's going to take it all the way. Yep, no good, but he draws a foul. That foul's going to go against Hamilton of Rose Hill. That'll send Tosin to the line. First one rolls around, no good. You'll shoot one more. Second one goes up. Can't get that one to fall either. Giles, Giles gets the rebound, puts it up and in, and draws a foul, so he'll go to the line. That one goes against Hamilton, too. That's his second. Hamilton's going to go take a seat as the priest checks in for him. to shoot one here. Nice, up and in. Boyd County drops back, not showing any full court pressure here. Really no need as Boyd brings it over for Rose Hill. Finds the priest. Boyd. Hale takes the shot, nothing but air. Boyd County basketball. Here comes Anderson to the Lions. Walks across, finds Rousey on the wing. Evans back to Anderson. Anderson inside to Gauze. Gauze working his way. Nope. Picks it out to Anderson for three. Coming off the front of the rim. Rebound Tosin. Tosin will go up strong. Nope, no good. Gets his own. Almost had his own rebound, knocked away. Rose Hill comes away with it. Here comes Boyd for Rose Hill. Trying to look inside, taken away by Anderson. Anderson kicks it off to Rousey. Rousey to Tosin, up, and layup's good. Basket by Tosin. 61-16 now, Boyd County on top. Hamilton to check into the game as Hale will take a seat. Boyd over to the 
the priest. Priest wanted to get it to Hamilton, but Rousey was all over Hamilton. Rose Hill ball out. Possession there favors Boyd County. Got it inside the cage and he stepped out of bounds. Rousey will inbound for the lines now. He finds Anderson. To Rousey on the wing, back up top to Keith Anderson. Rousey runs the backcourt. It's inside to Tosin, backs out to Anderson for three. Yes, sir. Three point go. Hamilton takes it all the way. He lays it up, count it, draws a foul. Evans to draw that foul. I believe that's four on Evans. Evans will have to try to control those fouls when they meet the winner of tomorrow night's game. Definitely need him to stay in the lineup. Dawson pulls down the missed free throw. Kicked out to Rousey. Rousey looks. Tosin for a long three. Yeah, baby. Count it. Three point go. Coming to Tosin. Here comes Rose Hill. Hale over to Hamilton. Hamilton to drive in. Cut off by Evans. A little push foul. Yes, sir. Good call there. Saw it from here. Hamilton pushed off with his. Non ball hand. Three fifty left to play in the third period. Sixty seven eighteen, Boyd County on top. Ryan Evans kicks it out front. Anderson, he goes to the side to toes and he tries to go inside the gauze and it's knocked out of bounds. Boyd County basketball. Anderson to inbounds. Tosin. Nope, no good. Cause is called stepping on the line there. Be Rose Hill ball. Here comes Hale. Walking the ball up, getting his instructions. Almost picked off by Tosin. Cade. Cade loses control. Last touch by Goss. Rose Hill ball. Here we got a new brigade checking in for the Lions. Priest, Dameron, Smith, Kinzer, and Mullins all check in. Hamilton top of key for Rose Hill. Try to kick it in, nothing happened. Hamilton, dribble drives. Out. I don't know what's picking that step. He got a ball with that one. He puts it up, no good. Rebound by Mullins. He's pushing down. Find Smith for the easy layout. Two minutes left to play in the third period here. 64th District Tournament Action on the Green at Beacon2.com. Keith Atkins along with Kristen Keaton. Glad you could join us here. We'll be back on the air tomorrow night. About 5.50, tip off around 6. Shots up, no good. Rebound by Hamilton. Hamilton take it all the way. Reverse layup, no good. Rebound by Kinzer of Boyd County. He's pushing down. He'll pull up. Dump, tries to dump off to Priest, and Priest wasn't, wasn't looking for a pass. He was looking for a rebound. Boyd will check back in the game for Rose Hill. Boyd County Lady Lions will take on the Lady Eagles of Fairview at 6 p.m. tip off. 
Immediately toward 20 minutes following that game, we'll have the Ashland Tomcats and the Fairview Eagles boys action. Hamilton thought about the three from the corner. Already pretty tight by Mullins. He drives in, puts it up. Going to draw a foul. That'd be Kinzer second. Hamilton go to the line. Nine seconds left to play in the third. Hamilton's first shot bounces off the back of the rim. No good. Second shot rolls off the front of the rim, remounted by Kinzer. Mullins back out front to Smith. Back to Mullins in the corner. Dameron in the corner for three. Nope. Misses everything. Kinzer gets it. Puts it up. No good. Run tips around. Kinzer gets it again. Puts it up. No good. Rose Hill with the rebound. Hamilton. And he comes behind the back. Loses control. Ball on the floor. Mullins picks it up. Now he controls. Smith in the corner. Wants the three. Takes it. Nope. It's the back of the backboard. He gets his own rebound. And he's going to throw it away. Seal inbound. Long three. Nothing but air. So at the end of three, Boyd County line 69, Rose Hill Royals 18. You're watching 64th District Tournament Basketball on the GreenUpBeacon2.com. Chiropractic. You will enjoy state-of-the-art chiropractic facilities and discover the true wellness lifestyle. Dr. Terry Meredith is a member of Great Doctors of Chiropractic and has helped many in the Ashland area experience natural healing without surgery or drugs. If you're looking for a skilled chiropractic doctor, visit MeredithChiropractic.com, call 329-8158, or visit Dr. Meredith's office at 2120 Carter Avenue in Ashland. Our patients are priority number one. For the seventh straight year, Our Lady of Belfont Hospital has received Health Grades Outstanding Patient Experience Award, and the hospital continues to be placed in the top 5% in the nation for outstanding patient experience. Our Lady of Belfont Hospital says thank you to our patients for this People's Choice honor. Our Lady of Belfont Hospital on a mission for good health for you and your family. Welcome back to fourth quarter action here at Boyd County Middle School. 69-18 is your score. Boyd County with a commanding lead. Gonna be Boyd County basketball out. Switch cameras and here we go. Smith, point guard, he gets it into Dameron. Dameron will drive, dump it off to Mullins. Mullins for Priest, Priest fights, puts it up. Rebound Kinzer, he puts it back up and in. Number two for Rose Hill, Wilburn in the game. Showing the point, he finds Cade. Cade throw the pass, Dameron picks it up, he's gonna take it all the way, lays it up, and good. Comes Wilburn of Rose Hill, walking the ball up the court. Another fine young man, glad to see him, he can get some time out there, some experience. That'll help Rose Hill in the future years to come. Ball was kicked, stays with Rose Hill. Number 55 is in for Rose Hill. And I'm going to assume that's Womack. I have no number beside him. That's what I'll call him until I hear it differently anyway. That's the only player I've got listed that doesn't have a jersey number. Ethan Hamilton takes the ball out, tosses it into Wilburn. Kenny Wilburn working against Mullins. 
Inside to Cade. Cade working his priest. He'll throw up a hook shot in and out. No good. Rebound Dameron. Bowling down court. Wide open. Easy layup. Too hard. Tipped in. Oh, almost tipped in by Kinzer. Kinzer really got up around the rim that time. Three by Dameron. He'll kick that one. Big Brock Dameron shoots the three. Nice looking shot. 5.45 left to play here. 76-18. Cade will shoot a three. Nope, short. Rebound by Smith. He looks off to Dameron. Dameron will lay it up and in. And Wilburn trying to work it in there, and he gets tripped up and knocked down to the floor. Good sportsmanship by the Lions as they help him up. Cade will have a seat as the priest will check back in for the Royals. Ethan Hamilton in mounting, looking for an open man. He finds the priest on the wing. The priest, he's going to take the three. It's a bad bounce, and priest comes down with the rebound for Boy County. Dameron in the corner for three. Yeah, baby. Rode around, touched all the rim, but it fell. Two in a row for Brock. Got a big smile on his face down there, having fun. Wilburn lost his footing there, trying to get around Smith with Boyd County, and it'll be Boyd County basketball. Got to give the young man, Wilburn, a lot of credit for Trying to work that ball inside against the bigger man. New platoon for Boyd County coming in. So bear with me as I try to figure out their names, who they are. For sure see Gerald in the game, James Gerald. Tyler Burnett. Alex Goss back in the game. He puts that one up and in. Wilburn working against Burnett. Wilburn showing some good ball handling skills there. Young man tries to throw it inside and throws it away there. Here comes Gerald, Boyd County, finds Burnett. Burnett drives, kicks it back out to Gerald for three. Yes, sir. Gerald connects on the three. Wilburn driving against Burnett. Gets picked off. Cameron Taylor picked him up. He'll drive and score. Nice play by Taylor. Eighty-eight to eighteen now. Two and a half to play in the game. Be sure to join us tomorrow night. Tip off at six p.m. for the Boy County Lady Lions as Pete Fraley and his girls take on the Lady Eagles of Fairview and Coach Rex Cooksey and Rick Lambert. Should be an interesting basketball game. And then we'll have the Ashland Tomcats and the Fairview Eagles as Derek Cooksey brings his Eagles in here to try to knock off the Tomcats. Boys will be about 20 minutes after the finish of the Lady Lions, Lady Eagles game tomorrow night. Wilburn drives in, takes a shot, rolls around the rim, no good. The Priest picks up the loose ball and puts it back up. Oh, can't get it to fall. Gerald picks up the loose ball for the Lions. And at 43. Inside to Taylor, he puts it up, no good. Got a rebound, puts it back up, no good. Gauz. Fighting in there, it's Alex goes. He'll draw the foul. Foul was on the priest. Young Lions enjoying some playing time here tonight, smiling, having a good time. 
Great to see Coach Anderson working him into the game here. That'll just make us even stronger in the years to come here in Lion Strong Country. Second shot up, no good. Sir Alex will catch a little ribbon after a while for that shot. That's all right, happens to all of us. The priest out front. Guarded by Alex Goss. The priest will take the long three, no good. Goss rushes in and pulls down the rebound. Nice hustle from the young man. There's Burnett for the drive and score. Under a minute now to play, 90 to 18. Boyd County taking this one from the Royals of Rose Hill. Wilburn out front against Burnett. Wilburn wants to drive in. He's just outside, gets cut off. Looking for some help there. Very fine help from Jackson Owens. It's taken away by Alex Goss. He got it up by himself and lays it up and in. 30 seconds, 92-18. Boyd County is going to take this one. Wilburn spins, puts it up. Oh, no good. Rebound by Gerald. That's going to do it here from Boyd County Middle School in 64th District Tournament Action. Keith Atkins along with Kristen Keaton for all of us here at the Green at Beacon Sports Media Group. We thank you for tuning in and be sure to join us for tomorrow night's action. We'll be on the air about 10 till 6 for Boyd County Lady Lions. Freak Fraley as he takes on the Fairview Lady Eagles and Coach Rex Cooksey. Be sure to join us for that. We appreciate you tuning in. Hope everybody has a nice relaxing evening and we'll see you all tomorrow night on the web again. Once again, you're watching Boyd County Basketball on the Green and Beacon 2.com.